how is the education system today maybe I don't want to say doing it wrong, but how could they improve? How could let's take a positive and how could they do it better to help the future leaders in the next five, 10, 20 years? So I wrote a, a book about this. It's free. It's at stopstealingdreams.com. It's been downloaded more than 4 million times. So I will try to do it justice in 45 seconds, but Stop Stealing Dreams argues that if we want school to get better, we have to ask a very simple question that never gets asked. Not when you go to a PTA conference, not when you go to a school board meeting. It's a simple question, which is what is school for? And I would challenge that teacher or that principal or that administrator or that taxpayer, please tell me what school is for. And if they're gonna be honest, what they would say is school is to train my child to have a high status job where they will go to a factory and do what they're told. Because that's who invented school. School is modeled after the Prussian paramilitary system of the 1800s. School was paid for by industrialists. And you know, if you're defective, they hold you back and they reprocess you. That sounds a lot like factory work to me. And I have an answer for what is school for, but it's not that. I think what school is for is to teach people to solve interesting problems. And memorizing is not an interesting problem. And looking something up on Wikipedia is not an interesting problem. And getting an essay written by GPT is not an interesting problem. Solve interesting problems and lead those two things. And so what we need to do is just keep asking those that question. If you want school to be for something other than two, those two things, please speak up. But if it is for those two things, let's build a system that gets us those two things. Mm. Well, it goes back to two, because you could think of like the, the school system as like a large organization, like getting them to change the paradigm. It seems, I don't know, it seems daunting to me. I look at it as like, should I run for superintendent? Like I've thought about this, you know, because I'm like, how do you, how do you enact change with a large, you know, school system that has hundreds of schools in it? We are seeing in our political system right now that when 10 organized people show up at a school, they can get books banned. They can get the curriculum changed. They can do all sorts of negative things. If a bunch of parents showed up and just said, we know what school is for, the school would change faster than most people can realize. Mm -hmm.